what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to terabyte reacts we are back again with another episode of viking season three episode six is here today man it has been a journey i'll tell you that much it has been a journey and a half and i have to say man this series is getting better and better by the minute um still interested to know why did odin visit that's is she going to have another baby? Um, did, did he impregnate um, Aslog? I want to know why Odin visit. Um, how is What is Ragnar going to do now that he knows that it's Odin that visited his wife? And why? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, why, man? But, you know, in those cultures, this happens in... In, in Greek mythology, it happens in North myth mythology where gods just come down and have sex with regular regular women. And they're like, oh, you're being blessed by the gods with their seed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, so let's jump into this, man. See what happens. That's the most interesting storyline going on right now. Man, prune face. <laughs> Not looking good. Not looking good. Her beauty... It's gone from a 10 to a 5. It's been cut in half, literally. Um, I still don't think that that B1 should, you know what I'm saying, like, leave her or anything like that. That's not my belief. But, you know what I'm saying, she needs to just calm down. I, un I, I, I do understand from her perspective, she feels like she's not desirable right now. Um, but at the same time, he's not... I love what he said in the last episode, man. I love it so much where, he, where he's like, if she wants me, she'll let me know. You know, she don't want to see me. If she wants me, she can, let, she can let me know. She's not a child. And that is true. That is very true. She needs to stop with this. She's got this kind of victim mentality right now that I don't like for such a person that came off as such a strong woman and wants to be like Lagatha. See, like, like to be like, listen, man, I'm going back home. You can stay here and mess around with your daddy if you want. <laughs> I'm out. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but we know what's going on over in Essex, of course, where King Egbert and his son, Aethel Wolf, um, double-crossed the, the, the Northmen and took back the farm, took back the land and everything, but they don't know yet. So I'm wondering who's going to get word to them. And I have a feeling that it's going to be Aethel Wolf's wife. Is it Beth? <laughs> I cannot remember her name. Every time I forget her name, man. But you guys know who I'm talking about, okay? Um, I would love for her to just, to just leave. I'm rooting for her at this point. Because they do, they, you don't double cross the Vikings, man. You don't double cross the Vikings, man. Come on, bro. Yo, he's a snake, man. Now we see King Egbert's true colors. Not even know. I don't even know if he was genuine from the get go. Or maybe this was his plan all along, just to get their help, so that he can, you know what I'm saying? Get get Mercia on board, so they can destroy them. And then they can let, you know what I'm saying? Like, you get what I mean. But I think this is going to go very bad for for um, for the, for the for King Egbert and King Ale. I think this is going to be go very bad for them. Because remember, Queen Thrid ain't no joke. And she likes Ragnar. So, I have a feeling that she's going to turn against them. If, if a battle should ensue, I really do believe she's going to turn against them. So... Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Remember to like and subscribe. And for all you loyal um, viewers out there that are watching my Vikings videos, man, I really do appreciate it. You know, we're not doing numbers, but we out here, okay? We out here. Today, I'm super energetic. I don't know why. But <laughs> thank you guys so much um, for, for, for just tuning in, man. Um, I know, as I said, we're not doing big numbers. But for all you guys that tune in every every time I put up one of these videos, man, and, you know, to go somewhere and watch it and just, just enjoy the reactions, man, I thank you guys so much. Um, you you are the reason I'm doing this, okay? So thank you guys so much, man. Um, I'll see you guys for the review. Yes.
Okay, so these two episodes were lit. Anyways, man. Um, unfortunately, we have lost one of my favorite characters in the show. This is Athelstan. Um, at first, I didn't want to believe it, but then when I saw that Ragnar was, you know, I thought it was the old dude that he was kind of like, he doesn't want anybody to know that he killed a dude or something. He was going far to bury him, but um, it turned out it was Athelstan. He went out there to bury Athelstan. Um, so, I wish they could have um, shown, you know, when they found him or something of the sort, but we didn't get to see any of that. So, but now Ragnar is wearing the cross, you know, the pendant that um, Athelstan had. That was his friend, man. And to me, in my opinion, like, I don't care what religion, you know, my friends are from. Like, if they want to know about mine, I'll tell them about mine. But other than that, like, I'm not going to feel, I'm not going to be like good riddance if they die because we didn't have the same background or we didn't share the same religion they didn't believe in the god that i believe in or something like like i'm not i'm gonna grieve just to say as a friend is a friend you know what i'm saying yes you know floki could have could have taken it like that but he's not like that he believes that if you're not serving our god and and today even today you still have people that are like that like if you're not serving our god that you deserve to die. You deserve to not be around us. You deserve to not. We we have no communication. There's nothing for us to talk about. All right. <laughs> All right. So that's the type of person that Floki is. And it's so obvious. Um, I don't still don't know what Ragnar has planned. I kind of have an idea of it, but I don't want to say it yet. Um, because I don't want to say it because. I'm probably way off. You know what I mean? Um, I think I think he does have some sort of clue as towards um, who is who killed Athelstan. I think he kind of knows that it is Floki and the reason why he's doing this um, to him is to kind of let him expose himself a bit. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, to put him in a leadership role because, you know what I mean? Because when he said to him, you know, you know, I really been ignoring you all this time. You know what I'm saying? You're still, you know, one of my closest friends or whatever the situation. I don't remember the exact speech, what he said to Floki, but you know what I'm talking about. But in any case, it just goes to show you how people are. You know what I'm saying? Like he put him in the position to be the, to be a leader, to lead the raid. And you see how quickly he kind of froze up or quickly he, he's trying to put people in their place. Ragnar is the type of person, is the type of leader like this, right? You know you're a leader. You know you're the shit. So you don't need to try to boss people around because everybody already respects you. One of the most profound things that I learned from watching from watching anime, an anime called Naruto. If you guys have never seen it, I will suggest it. If you're not an anime fan, fine. But one of the most profound things that I learned from that series is is this right naruto always through the whole series he wanted to be okage which is seen as you would say his goal is to be the king right and you have this one character in the show that let him know this you don't become the okage to be acknowledged by everyone the one who is acknowledged by everyone becomes the okage so that's how it is you get what I'm saying? Like, like that's how it is when it comes on to, um, you know, you wanting to be at the top, you, you know, and that's how Ragnar reminds me of is like everybody acknowledges who he is. That's why he's king. So it's not about you being in power and just throwing your weight around. You know what I'm saying? Like. So Ragnar is more laid back than anything else. Um, he knows he has the respect of his peers. He knows he, you know what I'm saying? So he doesn't have to be telling anybody that he's king. He, they know, <laughs> they, they know <laughs> he's a great leader. So, you know what I'm saying? He's acknowledged by his peers. You know what I'm saying? You don't become a cop. You don't become king and then be acknowledged. You have to do some things when people acknowledge you as being king, 
that's when you experience true kingship. So that's awesome, man. So um, putting Floki in that position is, you know, it goes to show you that can he really lead a raid? Can he really? Is he going to lead everyone to slaughter? Is he going to panic under the pressure if they come upon some some um, some unorthodox um, situation? Is he going to freeze up? So I think that's the reason why Ragnar is kind of, he's kind of trying to put him in charge so that he can mess up, so that he can, you know, that you can't, if you believe that your decisions are better than mine, I think that's what he's trying to prove. He's like, you know, I have a feeling that you kill Athelstan, you know what I'm saying? So you kind of going against my decision to protect him and you kill him. So now I'm putting you in the position and say, okay, so you know better than me. Maybe you can lead this. Maybe you can lead people. Maybe you can do this. Okay. So I think that's what Ragnar is doing, but the situation in France is or Paris. They call them the Franks, which is weird to me because I thought Paris was in Italy. Or is it not? No. Paris is in France. It just clicked. <laughs> it just clicked. Paris is in France. Paris is the capital of France. Right? I'm mixing up Paris with Rome. Rome. Is the capital of Italy. Yes, I think I'm right. <laughs> I'm not going to Google it. You guys will obviously let me know in the comment section if I'm wrong or right on that. But, um, so yes, Paris is in France. They're not, they don't have that wrong. But uh, Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, um, back to the story. I don't know what's going on over there. It's, it's, it's some treacherous stuff going on, as always. You know, so I did not like what they did to Judith. Judith, of course, I don't like it. Um, Atherston dying, not even knowing that he had a son. That's another crazy thing that happened, too. Now we're finding out that Ragnar has another son. Because it was prophesied to him that he's going to have many sons. Okay? Many sons. So there's nothing specific, just many sons. So, so I was like, oh, so they did do to do. So it could be, I don't know if it's, if she's telling the truth or not. Cause it, has it been that long? I mean, everybody having babies now. So it could, could have been that long because Peruna's had her baby. Um, so it, it is possible that that's Ragnar's baby. Cause that amount of time has passed for her to be pregnant and have a baby. So, um, so they're killing the nobles. And, you know, that scene was so funny with him and <laughs> him and Quintred. That scene was so funny, man, because he was like, please, Lord, please, Lord, don't, don't let me have an erection right now. <laughs> I do not want to give in to the temptation. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, because, I mean, it's been a long time since he got any because I'm pretty sure he's not having sex with Judith. I'm, I really don't think he is. So it's been a long time for him, you know, and don't get me wrong, guys. Quinthred is a sexy woman. She is, and she exudes it. You know what I'm saying? The way how she tries to seduce. I mean, even I'm sitting in my chair, I was like, man, I couldn't resist you if I wanted to. I don't care how many men you slept with. I would have won some of that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? She's that good. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. This, these were two really good episodes. I like how the story is progressing. I'm wondering why he didn't go to Wessex immediately, knowing, you know, I, I guess because he doesn't want anybody else to know. Because it's really only Floki and him know at the moment that all the Northmen are dead in Wessex. Um, so he wanted to keep it a secret because maybe he wants everybody because, you know, everybody's going to be like, let's go get these dudes in England first. Then we can go to Paris. But I guess he wants to take Paris first and then probably go back to Wessex. I don't know what's going on in Ragnar's head at this point, but I guess we're going to find out before the season. And we got what we had episode seven. We got three more episodes left in this season. So I'm pretty sure 
I think it's I think it's only ten episodes. So um so yeah man, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the reactions, man. Let me know in the comment section. Also leave a like. Um as I said, man, in the intro, we out here, okay? We out here. The, the, thank you guys once again, all you loyal fans that come back to see my reactions, man. Thank you guys so much. I'm sorry, man. I can't upload to YouTube. I can't upload this stuff to YouTube, man. And people want to chop chop up the show I, I don't have time to do all that editing okay and to let you miss the best parts of my reactions man like i'd rather just chill you guys can just watch the show watch the show with me all of y'all that have that are watching with me you've already seen the show anyways it's not that big a deal so in any case man whatever it takes whatever it takes man i'm here as i said man i'm trying to build a solid community around my youtube channel so that when I do stuff in the in the future, you know what I'm saying? You guys are there with me. I don't want to be one of those channels that you know what I'm saying? I want to understand when it comes on to who's watching what. So I know that, you know, these people are watching the TV shows or these people are watching the anime or these people are watching my music reactions or these people are watching my, the other kind of videos that I make. So I want to know that so that I know that when I get to 100,000, if only 20,000 people is watching my TV reactions, I know to expect that for my TV series. You get what I'm saying? So I'm not expecting, oh, I don't want, you know, I get to 100,000 subscribers and 100 you know, you know, you know what I mean? So it, it's kind of like I, I'm not going to be expecting 100,000 people to be watching a particular thing that I, I'm watching. You get what I'm saying? Because that would be stupid. So I want to understand this way. I understand where my where my views are coming from. You know what I'm saying? So. So I can cater to that. So, you know, what I'm saying I, I just I'm not going to be one of those channels who's. You know what I'm saying? Just have a one track thing that they're doing and there's no variety or they get to a million subscribers. They still do the same thing, but it can't even pull 50,000 views, which is something that I notice with a lot of channels that grow too fast because and a lot of times they get around to also where the, their fans start asking them, do you even pay attention to the comment section no more? Dude, I'm telling you this, telling you guys this right now. When my channel gets to the point where I where i cannot look at my comments no it's never going to happen if i'm getting thousands of comments i'm gonna make sure i either have somebody reading them to me or something like that if i get to that status that is something that i would definitely do I have a va and stuff like that people that go through my comment section and with me while i'm sitting down or maybe i'm working on something else and they're reading comments to me and i will like your comments just the same that i've been doing now because i think that is very important to grow a community because everybody has something to say you know what i'm saying if you're just showing me love i'm gonna leave that heart with you you know what i mean so i'm talking way too long on this review thank you guys so much for tuning in i will talk to you guys later man thank you guys so much for coming through always it's always love here from these reactions man thank you guys so much and i will see you guys next time man peace